Stage one is getting to know your Rubik's Cube and the definitions of the Rubik's Cube pieces. This stage is important because knowing the pieces is what helps you unlock the secret and understand how the cube works. Edge pieces are pieces with two colors. There are 12 edge pieces all located in the middle rows. Corner pieces are pieces with three colors. There are eight corner pieces located on the corners. Center pieces are pieces with one color. There are six center pieces and each one is located in the center of each side. It's important to know that center pieces don't move. This is important for a couple of reasons. The first reason is that since the center pieces don't move, they represent the color of their side. White, yellow, orange, red, green, and blue. The center pieces also tell us whether another piece is in the right position. Because if it doesn't match the center piece color on that side, then it's in the wrong position. The second reason it's important to know center pieces don't move is because center piece colors are always opposite each other. White is opposite yellow, orange is opposite red, and green is opposite blue. This is good to know because when you're looking for a centerpiece color, you'll know that if you see it's opposite, then the color you're looking for is on the other side. Now that you know the pieces of the cube, it's important to know how the cube actually moves. Each side or face of the cube is represented by a letter. This means that when you hold your Rubik's Cube in one position, full front, the following letters refer to the six sides of the cube. R equals right face, right side of the cube. L equals left face, left side of the cube. U equals up face, top side of the cube. D equals down face, the bottom side of the cube. F equals front face, front side of the cube, which is facing you. And B equals back face, back side of the cube, which is away from you. These letters are also used to represent the moves necessary to solve the Rubik's Cube. For example, the capital letter F represents the F front face, which is to be moved clockwise. The capital letter F with an I after it means an inverted or counterclockwise move when looking at that face directly. If you hold the cube with the right side facing you, you can see the rotation is in a counterclockwise direction. When making the moves as illustrated in the solution guide, hold your cube with the face full front like this, not at an angle like this. In the solution guide, the gray on the cubes in the move graphics means the colors on the cube don't matter. Your focus should be on the highlighted white parts of the cube with the arrows that indicate the direction the face should move. Now let's see how the cube moves. Each move represents a rotation that is a quarter turn, like this. If there are two of the same moves, then it is two quarter turns, which equal a half turn rotation, like this. Remember, the letter I after a capital lettered move means move that face in an inverted or counterclockwise direction. Now that you've completed stage one, it's time to put all this knowledge to work. But before we move to stage two, let's quickly highlight some of the important things from stage one. And here to help me teach you how to solve the cube are Taryn and Jason. How are you guys? Good. Yeah. Good, good. First, you must remember the centerpieces don't move. They tell us what color the side needs to be in order to solve the cube successfully. Second, the centerpiece colors are always opposite each other. White opposite yellow, blue opposite green, and red opposite orange. This helps us know where the pieces are located and where they need to go. Thanks, you guys. Great job. Now we'll see how this all comes together by applying in stage two what we learned in stage one. 